So you take that snippet out of the video and you twist it in such a beautiful way and then you show it to the people to show them they're misguided. One example. One example which is mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. One example which is mind-blowing. This one speaker, and we're not going to discuss his position, whether he is guided or misguided, that's another discussion. But anyways, even though there are some arguments against him, which are valid, still, Allah commands justice. And this person who has this issue, he was telling his crowd, huh? he was telling his crowd, how when he goes to the airport, every time he travels out of the States, and then he returned to the States, you know, the, the FBI and the, the immigration, whatever, they, they interview him, they interrogate him. But when they ask me again, I'll mention my, when I come back to the country, they'll ask me, are you a Sunni? I say, no, I am not. What type of, what, what kind, you know, what were you doing? Why were you traveling? He's a Dai. So they said to him, so he, he plays tricks with them. He's showing the people how he tricks them. So he, he plays tricks with them. He's showing the people how he tricks them. They say to him, uh, he, they say, are you a Sunni? Are you Sunni Muslim? He says, no. He said, he's saying this to the people. I tell them, no. Are you a Sunni? I say, no, I am not. If I'm Sunni, that means I only follow the Sunnah. I follow the Sunnah and the Quran. Why? Well, I'm not going to leave out the Quran. I follow the Quran and the Sunnah. So, so it's a very clear thing that he's trying to show them how he deals with the interrogators by telling them that because they want to label him with something, he's telling him, I have no label. So when you come and bring this and say, now we don't know whether he's Sunni or Shi'i, because he's saying clearly to the people, I'm not Sunni. Ya Shaykh, ya Ani, Wallahi Aib. Yani either you're belittling the minds of the people and the viewers, or you don't fear Allah. This is a person who doesn't fear Allah. On Yawm al Qiyamah, how he's going to deal with this cut and paste business that is abhorrent. I've sat with Sufi scholars, Shiite scholars, and I took benefit where I could take benefit. But I assure you, they have exactly the same book. There's no difference. Because guess what? Shiites do have some hadith. They have a book, a kafi. So they take Sunnah and they take Quran. I want to know how come you thought you were called Sunnis? I want to know why you thought you were called Sunnis. You don't know who gave it to you, do you? But yet you say it. Is that amazing? You have no problem. I'm a Sunni. Oh, really? Where did it come from? Does it come from Sunnah? Are you sure? Does that mean then that you only follow Sunni? You don't follow the Quran? Huh? Allah commands justice. So some people said, well, you have to be a Sunni Muslim. I said, okay, I'll be a Sunni Muslim. Okay. But then I found that, all right, why I'm just saying Sunni, does mean I only take the Sunni? What about the Quran? Right. But when they ask me again, I'll mention my, when I come back to the country, they'll ask me, are you a Sunni? I say, no, I am not. Why? Well, I'm not going to leave out the Quran. Allah commands justice. If you're a Sunni, you're looking at the Shiite Muslims as being wrong. All you're going to do is get a headache. You'll get a headache. Allah commands justice. To be a follower of a particular jurisprudence, such as Hanafi, Maliki, Shafi, Hanbali, Jaffrey, like this, this, according to Allah's heart, university, they ruled on these five and said that these are all matahab. These are matahab of learning how to make wudu, how to pray, things like that. And if somebody follows one or the other, that's fine. Because you don't have time to become a scholar, great. If you want to go further than that, you can. But the point here is, those are normal groups. Allah commands justice.
On Yom Al Qiyamah, how he's going to deal with this cotton paste business that is abhorrent 